Hello, this is CrazyMan7777 here, and I am here for another Halo Mega Bloks review. This time, not nearly as sick as the last time. And we are with the Halo Mega Bloks um, Police Cruiser, I think. I'll have to look at that. Now I have to go and get the box because I just realized I have no idea what I'm doing. I'll be back. Alright, now I'm feeling a little bit more prepared. This is the police cruiser standoff, so I was only missing the standoff part. I can't believe I actually managed to get the cruiser part in. Um, so what you will notice from this enhanced graphic and also the actual figure, um, which is a little bit nice, that they have decided to spare us the humiliation of looking at a small plastic toy attempting to look like a human being. And instead, they just mostly, uh, instead they just have the face mostly covered up by the hat and the cute little visor this guy has. Let's see if I can show you some of the uh, things that I have here. This is the first one that I know of that looks like this by Halo Mega Watch. It's pretty weird. The second one. Actually isn't that bad, but it's still pretty weird. But it's nice to say they're trying, they're not trying um, as hard to pull off the eyes. The eyes are just always creepy no matter what. Um, actually, there's not really anything interesting on here that I know of. Alright. Just move straight into the review. So, first is the most exciting part of the set, which is the actual police cruiser itself. Um, this set is actually, I thought, was kind of expensive at first when I started, when I bought it, but, and I built it, and it turns out that this thing is, like, gigantic. Look at it compared to a figure. This is not the size that it is in Halo 3 ODST. In Halo 3 ODST, this thing would be, like, a third the size it is. But it is actually pretty cool. Um, and if you were wondering, Halo 3 ODST is what or this thing comes from. Uh, it's got a little assault, a deployable assault rifle and shotgun in here um, that are colored um, in the not scale of coloring. And it's got this nice opening cockpit that actually doesn't really open but it does close. We've got a little bit of a ram guard right here. Um, the NMPD, New Mombasa Police Department, which doesn't make any sense because it says this is in New Alexandria. No, it doesn't. Never mind. I don't know why I got New Alexandria off the box. It doesn't say it anywhere. We have all the red lights and, all, and two of the blue lights. And that's pretty much it for this cruiser thing, but I think it's pretty cool looking. I think it's pretty well built. It's a lot better than the Police Hornet. The Police Hornet was kind of cool because we hadn't seen a Hornet for a super long time, and it was kind of a advanced version of the Hornet based off of what we'd seen so far. So then we have the first figure. This is the Police um, Captain. Or, yeah, lieutenant or captain or whatever you want to call him. And he's got his little pistol that I gave him because the police guys always look cooler with their pistols. <laughs> and, like I said before, he has a visor so that his face looks better than they normally do when they try to do a human face. Um, there's pretty much nothing to talk about here other than the fact that he isn't, like, blue like the last guy's the last police force guys Let's see if I can scrounge those up yeah they're all blue like that that's pretty much it for that guy there's not really anything to talk about oh yeah he's got he's got pants though you can tell look at that he's got pants the coloring of his lower half is different than the coloring of his upper half so obviously He's wearing cargo pants in the leather color, 
or just leather pants. And he's wearing a black shirt that has long sleeves. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, and then, uh, wow, that, that just fell apart when I picked it up. That brute was still set up in the way I had it, and all the way at the beginning of the review. If you're wondering what that was. Uh, and then we have something that's a little bit interesting, at least for me. Um, is the brute from the game. So, I think this is supposed to be the ones from at the night. Oh, the ones that, um, in the night ops missions during during the Master Chief Collection is what I was going to say, during Halo 3 ODST, and during the day, let's see if we can find one, oh god, oh, the more sets I do, the harder this becomes, here's one, and okay, here's what they look like during the day, so we have both versions of the Halo 3 Brute now, not nice, and he also has a silver, silver gravity hammer, which is pretty cool. Uh, my last brute, and my, my last brute is holding his uh, gravity hammer a lot better. Um, the gravity hammer, the gra I can't tell if it's gravity hammers or the brutes that they've been recently making, but these things are super hard for them to hold for very long. But. Um, since they are a little bit loose, it makes it so that you can, like, set them up so that they're holding it with both hands, which I'm not going to do right now because it takes forever. But, I think this is pretty cool. Um, so, if I will give this one, I think this is a larger set, so I'll give it out of 10. I'd say this is, like, a 8 out of 10 because it comes with a pretty cool, it comes with a couple, uh, if it comes with a, this guy, I think this is a pretty cool figure. Um, the police captain is pretty boring. I think that they could have done something a little bit more interesting with that. Um, and I would and I would say that it's a little bit weird. The coloring of the weapons is a little bit weird. But this this thing just makes up for it. This is just really cool, in my opinion. Um, and I will see you guys next time for another review. May or might not happen today. For a double review day again.